wonderful show today. We sure do. We're going to get to the dope on the soaps in a minute, but first we have a question for the audience, don't we? What would you do if your children, the things you hold dearest in life, exploded? Oh. <laughs> yeah. We have a parent who's written a book on exploding child syndrome. <laughs> Over 4,000 young people in America blow up every year. She'll tell you how it affected her family and how you can look for warning signs in your own children. But first, with the dope on the soaps, here's Candy Rhinelander. Hi. Hi there, everybody. Hi. Well, what a day, huh? Well, where do I begin? I just, I feel sick. And I think you know why I feel sick. I mean, unless you're just dumb. And I don't think you're dumb. I mean, if you are dumb, you'll never be as dumb as that hottie bimbo Sarah. You know the one? You know the one who was locked in the closet? and was driven to drink her own pee-pee? Yeah, but, no, nah, but, okay. She never stopped loving Rod the Bod, did she? No, that idiot, yeah, okay. So they're back together on The Hung and the Heartless, and I've got a prediction <laughs> that, that he's gonna do that thing he did with his eyebrows last week. Okay, he'll do that again. We'll just have to wait and see, let that one unfold. And, and, oh, oh, okay. All right, y you know what I know? Guess what I know? All right, I'm not telling you what I know. I'm not telling you. I'm, all right, no, okay, I'll tell you this much, all right? Okay, don't get too attached to Randy's new hairdo or his new left leg, if you know what I mean. I'm not saying anything, okay, until after Easter. All right, and speaking of holidays, all right, who is taking a holiday from his brain on one wife to share? All right, no, I don't say that, that Sam is cuckoo kachoo. Is he not cuckoo kachoo? He is. He's, he's not the brightest crayon in the box, okay? All right, now wake up. Wake up, all right? All right, I've got something to wake you up. Guess who we're going to talk to today? Yes. All right, you know him as the evil yet studly Nilly Manago on the young and the erect. That's right. Please welcome all the way from Hollywood, uh, Tyree. Hello. Hi. Okay, what the hell's wrong with the satellite? All right, okay, all right, for Pete's sake, Jimmy. You want to stop standing on your penis to fix the damn satellite? <laughs> okay, all right, forget it. Okay, let's take a phone call. Martha in Port Townsend, go ahead. Hi. Hi, Candy. You look fantastic today. Oh, okay, not so fast. What part of me looks best today, huh? Uh, your hair? That's right. Tony knocked himself out today. All right, what's on your mind, Martha? Candy, I am so mad at Jeremy and Stacy. Why don't they stop teasing us? He should just hold her down and do his business. Oh, I, I agree. I think we all need that. Well, I know I do. I'm out here in Port Townsend with all these fat loggers and their muddy trucks. The soaps are my whole life. It's a pretty darn good life, if you ask me. I finish the housework, then watch TV in the bathtub. And when I see Jeremy, I turn the water on really hard, and I scoot up to oh, the... Oh, hey, 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 all right, all right, okay. Is the damn satellite fixed yet? Okay, oh, God, all right, okay, go, go, go to the woman who lost her kid. Thanks, Candy. We're here with Evelyn Norgard, who has lived through the tragedy of ECS, or Exploding Children's Syndrome. She has had two children explode and has written a book to help other people who are going through the same thing. The book is titled, And Then Boom. <laughs> Will you please welcome Evelyn Norgard. Now, Evelyn, when were you first aware there was something wrong in your family? Well, we pretty much knew something was wrong after our first son exploded. Um, my husband and I then had tests done, and we discovered that we both had a, a genetic predisposition for exploding children. Now, our second son exploded five years ago. Uh, our third son is healthy, uh, but he does carry the exploding gene. However, I'm very hopeful and careful. Hey, hey, well, well, we got the damn thing fixed. Okay, Brian. Okay, hello. Brian, why don't you put down the crack pipe? and come over here, all right? Yeah, all right. Okay, frame me up, all right? Okay, listen, the moment we've been waiting for, hold on tight, I've got an interview with that tasty bad boy, Millie Monago. Ladies, say hello to Tyree. Hi. Hey, 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 what's happening? Yeah, what's happening, lovely ladies? I wanna suck cranberry juice out of all y'all's navels. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tyree, yeah. any special storylines on the young and the erect? Well, my character, Millie Monago, is still a sex addict, but ain't reached his goal of making love to all the women in Milkwood City, you dig? <laughs> yeah, 
You seem to be such a ladies' man, Tyree. Oh, yeah, yeah. Our viewers want to know if there's a special woman in your life. Oh, uh, no, no, no. There are too many women for me to tame, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm just playing, sort of. <laughs> oh, excuse me. This might be one of my ladies right now. Yo, this is Tyree. Jim, why, why are you calling me right now? <laughs> oh, why, why would I call you? you? You said you needed your space. No, that's not true. I, I never wanted to break up. Really? Where are you now, Jim? Okay, I'll be right over. Yo, Candy, I gotta go. Peace out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, ladies, there you have it. Turns out he's a big old screaming poofter. Okay, so <laughs> <of> my life. <laughs> Let's go back to the exploding lady. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Candy. Now, Evelyn, you have had two children explode already. Now, when, when do they explode? Usually they explode at 13 years and five months, uh -huh. which is very bad uh, time because, you see, kids at that age don't listen. Uh, they're seeking their own independence, and just as they begin to find it, they blow up. Okay, go ahead. We got Shirley in Maple Valley. Hi, Shirley. Hi. Listen to me, Candy. You need to stop watching those idiotic shows. Get in touch with reality and get a life. <laughs> okay, you don't really need to get a life. Shannon, and as the butter turns, okay, one thing I've done, and you may want to start doing this, I have made voodoo dolls out of every one of the soap opera stars, and when I don't like what they're doing it, I put a pin in them, just like that, all right? You should do that. Try that. Try okay. that at home. Candy, thanks. Uh, now, Evelyn, uh, you said that your third son, Daniel, <laughs> who is in our green room, also yeah. carries the exploding trait. Right. What do you say to him? We are very honest with Daniel. We, uh, we say that even though you may explode, honey, we oh, love you. That kid needs a good doctor, huh? like Blake on General Hospital. But he's got amnesia, thinks he's a woman trapped in a priest's body. I'd like to trap him in my body. Whoa, okay. Speaking of amnesia, where the hell did I put my cigarettes? I saw him in the green room. Right, good. Okay. Yeah, as I was saying, we tell Daniel that even though he may blow up one day, we love him so very much, and we're... Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. <laughs> wow! That was wilder than the time the terrorists came to Jane's wedding, and they turned out to be our long-lost brothers. Stay tuned. I'll tell you when the joke's coming back to all my hickeys. Okay, hi, hi.